Hello and welcome to another Brett Plays Flight and Review and today we're back with the Stampy, I think it's SV4. Let's have a quick look. I'm using uh, version 1.0 from Restoravia.fr. I did do an FSX version of this uh, conversion back in 2021. They have come along and uh, updated these with a new and inverted commas native to Microsoft Flight Sim. So we can actually now press all the buttons, use all the uh, stuff in the cockpit. And what we'll do is we'll take it for a quick flight today. There are 14 liveries. I'm using a colorful uh, red, white, and blue, mostly white base, obviously. F BOM, or no, B D M E. Probably should get that correct. Now, this is actually quite a nice aircraft. Uh, I think a lot of the FSX aircraft that they had on Restoravia.fr, they're all French uh, built aircraft. I've shown off a few of them. They are bringing them over to be more native uh, pressing now. So I have noticed though this one doesn't show or pop up with names of what I what it is that I'm clicking. So if you put your mouse over, I mean I can recognize that that's a, a magneto. I'm not sure what that does. Starter. I think also my Xbox. Yeah, yeah, Xbox is trying to interfere with that. This looks like a primer. I can't actually read French, so someone can tell me. It looks like it's uh, by pressing and letting go, it's your primer. It's a rolly ball to do that one. And it kicks over and, and nothing happens. Maybe I have my fuel tap off. There's nothing clickable there. Unfortunately, the labels don't come up. So that's a bit of a shame. You think that would be a park break, that one. Just using my rollerball to run that forward there. Nothing's happening. Now that's rollerball as well. So some of these are clickable and some are not. But if I hold down my uh, auto start on my controls, there we go. It's basically like a control E. Adjustable. And I think that's actually it. So I'm not sure what these things do. It definitely says starter. Now, views, we do have the option to run to the front cockpit, which it looks like it is an identical. Wow, look at the length of that. Okay, so that uh, adjustable thing goes all the way through. We do have extra gauges on the front. That's cool. Yeah. And back to... No, let's go back. There we go. So we can move around as we need to. Uh, we do have the look left. Stays looking left, look right, stays looking right. You need to reset to go back to your main view. Let's try the park brake. That's the park brake on that side. Don't know what this one is. Maybe it's my trim. No, there's my trim there. Is there a prop pitch? There's no, that's mixture prop pitch. No, shouldn't be. This is probably your cooling, I'm guessing. Someone can actually tell me. Essence Pompez. It's a rolling ball. Oh, no, that one's a kill it. Wow. Maybe that is the fuel. 
Okay, let's get a quick move on here. We don't have a steerable wheel. I think it's a free dragging. No, actually, it is moving. But if we're not moving very much, I don't think so it's free dragging and using the rudder to turn. Okay. Suit ourselves higher up in the cockpit, we can see over. Don't mind the glass being a little bit frosted like that. It's not necessarily going to be 100% see-through, no, no glare, no anything else. Where sometimes if you see the glass is too clear, it looks invisible. I can, I can handle this. Again, if we want to fly from the front, we just, uh, I'm just pulling down on my view hat. Go back to. Uh, Pressing up to go back to the rear seat. What we'll do is we'll do a quick run down the runway, fly around the airport and come back on the other end. There's not much to this. There are no flaps. We do have that uh, trim that works. Mixture, no prop pitch. And we're getting a few stutters there. So it is a training and aerobatic biplane, two-seater in tandem, single engine with fixed conventional landing gear. Its engine is a 140 horsepower Renault 4P05 inverted inline four-cylinder. Classic land, uh, landing gear is fixed. The pilot sits in the back, the student pilot in the front, a fuselage and wings have a wooden structure covered with canvas. That's what's written on their page. Let's give this a run. nose down already very good now we can sit back in our seat and we're up it's very nice uh, look it was an FSX conversion originally uh, I did do a video like I said back in the beginning of 2021 the guys at Restoravia have been working on their, I'm guessing, catalogue because they're going through a lot of their aircraft now making them fully native to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 which means you can press all those buttons If you read French, it makes it much easier, I don't There's no pop-up on those At least not in the mouse button clicking version I have. Maybe if you put it onto lock it'll come up with some extra information. Nice aircraft. I'll put a link in the description. Keep an eye out for other aircraft from their website. I'm going through a bunch of theirs that they've updated recently that I've not been watching. So they are actually releasing them ongoing. Which is pretty good. Bring this in for a landing here on the same runway we took off. And I will call this a short video showing it off. So if you want to get yourself a uh, Stampy SV.4, I am way too high. It's okay. Very maneuverable, this. Let's see if we can do an outside landing as well, or we get a quick stutter. There's probably a bunch of people here today. Alright, very nice. We're getting pushed uh, by the wind here. Now, slowing down. We do have brakes, but he wants the nose over very easy. Done. Link will be in the description. Thanks for watching. A like, comment, subscribe, all the rest. If you're interested in uh, further aircraft that uh, are freeware, 
check out my reviews. Have a great day. Cheers. Bye.